Psalms 4, 7 through 8 says, You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvest of grain and new wine. In peace, I will lie down and sleep for you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. To God be all the glory. This is a magna amazing day the Lord has made, and we must rejoice and be glad in it. We have been blessed being given God's unfailing love, tender mercies, grace, protection, and have an opportunity to walk through the doors of salvation that Jesus has opened and no one else can close, all because God has breathed his breath and spirit of life into our dusty bodies. Today is Wednesday, 11 6 20, 24. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was count your blessings. Proverbs 1 7 says, Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. Count your blessings. As this short video with love from the Lord's word is delivered, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will hide me behind the cross and that every word spoken is a lamp to guide our feet and a light for our path, giving our Father in heaven all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory that is due his just, righteous, and holy name. Lord God, I pray that you will remove the scales of darkness, wickedness, and sin from our eyes so we can see, from our ears so we can hear, from our mind so we can understand the word of God, the book of instruction to receive the knowledge from fearing you, understanding your love, power, and grace, and not wanting to do anything to offend you being guided by wisdom into discernment and truth and removing the sin from our heart so we can feel and remember number 6, 22 through 27, which says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with this special blessing. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Whenever Aaron and his sons bless the people of Israel in my name, I myself will bless them. Count your blessings. See, God's blessings, his promises are supposed to draw us near to his son, Christ Jesus, the savior of the world. We are even blessed when we are living outside of God's will for our lives. And it's like window shopping. See, God's word says he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and unjust alike. This is a show of God's grace. Do you know of anyone deceased having God's grace? giving him praise, receiving, and benefiting from his blessings. So I say, count your blessings. See, God has given us a glimpse of what could happen when we are window shopping, being given his blessings, if we live with complete trust in God, standing on the firm foundation that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in complete submission spending time in prayer, being obedient to his will, walking on the path lighted by the word of God. Blessings should have and give us faith, belief, and hope, showing us that God will stand on his word, on his promises, and protect his called and chosen people. Are there any blessings that we can count in just a few hours that we have been awake this morning. Count your blessings. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 6 says, 
if you fully obey the Lord your God and are and carefully keep all his commands that I am giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the world. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. Your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crop will be blessed. The offspring of your herd and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit baskets and breadboards will be blessed. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. See, these are just a few blessings with God's protection for being all in with Jesus. The blessings were not promised all during this lifetime, but should we rise in the first resurrection and get to see our creator we will experience the fullness of his blessing eternal life in heaven the only thing that will be better than that thought is the actual experience are you living in gratitude for what you have and living by the word of god that our thoughts of eternal life in heaven will one day be a reality if it's God's will, living a life that is a pleasing aroma to God, our Father in heaven. Count your blessings. Psalms 80, 19 says, Turn us again to yourself, O Lord, God of heaven's armies. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then we will be saved. See, as God smiles, on us and is gracious to us we must make the choice to turn from selfishness choosing Jesus repenting of any and everything we can think of as we have lived in disobedience ignorance and flat-out foolishness everything that is not obedient to God's will count your blessings see when you make the choice to live in obedience to the word of God. God's work and will can really shine on in and through our lives, allowing us to have a more intimate relationship with Jesus, storing up the oil that will be needed to endure everything that comes our way as we follow Jesus with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul counting every second that we have breath of life as a blessing to give God the glory. Count your blessings. Psalms 29, 9 through 11 says, The voice of the Lord twists mighty oaks and strips the forest bare. In his temple, everyone shouts, Glory! The Lord rules over the flood waters. The Lord reigns as king forever. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. See, though we, through his will, through reading the word of God, through history, we see and have read about God's mighty power at work, the flood and Noah, the ark, the plague, freeing his chosen people Israel from Egypt waking us up this morning and raising our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. See, with God standing with us, who can be against us? Is there any reason we are not blessed with the peace of Jesus? Count your blessings. Come to Jesus today. Jesus is the word of God, the faithful and true witness the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end jesus is the prince of peace whose eyes are like flames of fire with feet like polished bronze jesus is the open door the gate and the good shepherd of all god's flock acts 2 38 through 39 says peter replied each of you 
must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you, to your children, and to those far away, all who have been called by the Lord our God. Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you asking in Jesus' name that you encamp your angels around us, keeping us safe from harm. Lord, keep us meek and humble, staying and laying down on the ground so that we don't have to be knocked down. Lord, thank you for allowing Jesus to be our example and the Holy Spirit to be our guide, giving us the will to obey all your commandments and earnestly seek after your heart like King David. Father God, give us the unbreakable desire to eat and drink from the word of God for our breakfast, lunch, and dinner with snacking prayers before and after all of our meals as we understand each second is just one of many blessings you give us each day as we are surrounded by your mighty powers and miracles. Lord, help us to count our blessings and show our gratitude back to you, giving you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Now, all glory to God, who is able to keep you from falling away and will bring you with great joy into his glorious presence without a single thought. All glory to him who alone is God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. All glory, majesty, power, and authority are his before all time, in the present and beyond all time. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things, seeking and loving God first through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in all areas of your life and making a commitment to live by the word of God through prayer, faith, and obedience. Count your blessings. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.